Well, uh, I introduced to you the two times table picture last time, uh, and uh, in, in in that picture, if you remember, the the bird reminded us that this is a two times table picture, and that that is basically the main key. Um, so the three times table, which I'm presenting to you this time, the key for it is uh, are these mountains, uh, and and so these mountains are in a, in the shape of a three. Um, like that, if they, you know, if you have drawn them uh, kind of a sideways, um, so that reminds you, that reminds the user of this picture that this picture belongs to a three times table. Um, one thing, one thing that I um, um, I didn't uh, mention in the previous uh, video was that when you practice this, although although the keys are spread around the picture, but really you should practice with your um, learner. Um, you should practice the times table by jumbling them about, you know, so don't, don't, um, don't do them in order. Um, do it in a kind of shuffled up order. Uh, and so, so remember there was a key here that says, that's where the two times two starts. So the answer is four, and two times three is six, Two times four uh, is the shape of the um, uh, of the butterfly. Eight, eight. Two times five is ten. Two times six is twelve. Two times seven is fourteen. Two times eight is this sixteen here in the in the branch, and then two times nine is the eighteen. But when you come to practice it with your learner, uh, then don't do it in that order. Just maybe use this order, which is, which jumps about. You know, so it's got the two times two, which is here. Then it's got two times nine. The answer is there. Then it's got two times three, which is the couple of worms on the, uh, on the ground. Two times three, six. Then two times eight. This insect climbing up the tree and so on. So practice it that way. Now, so when we come to three times table. Um, so again, the key reminds your user of um, uh, of which picture belongs to three times table, uh, and then just just like the other picture, we follow a um, anti-clockwise um, cycle around the picture to place our keys in. So the very first, the very first. Um, the very first one, which is three times three, um, is exactly in the middle uh, of the picture, and that is the the sun that, with the line side lines of the mountain, looks in the shape of the nine. So that is the starting point. Three times three is nine. Then three times four is this um, this flag, which is in the shape of a four. Uh, and although it's probably not very visible, but when you're developing the picture, you could agree with your user that inside the flag there is a 12 written there. So 3 times 4 is 12. So remember, um, extending the memory of this has a lot to do with how you develop the story with your user. So, you know, it can't, it can't just be um, a 2-3 second going around the picture. You have to develop the, the story with them. So three times four is twelve. Then as a as a reservoir here, so that's a five in there. So that's three times five is this big wall, the side wall of the reservoir, which is in the form of a fifteen. So three times five is fifteen. You can line you can actually um, line this up to show, you know, you can actually draw it in. To show that um, it is it is the 15 um, on the side of here, you could actually draw it out for your user to see it at least once. Uh, and in the um, in the river, we have in the river we have a fish that's just jumped out of the water, uh, and that is six. So three times six. Um, there's a a depth measuring. Uh, stick here um, to measure the depth of water and a couple of stones on the side so that's the answer three times six is 18 so remember it's all about it's all about how to place the keys around this picture and how to familiarize your um, your learner about them 
So to the, um, to the person who is not aware of these keys around the picture, they wouldn't know it. But uh, with your, um, with your uh, child, with your young learner, uh, you can agree that these are the keys that you placed around the picture so they can remember the answers by remembering uh, parts of um, the relevant parts of the picture. So 3 times 7, 3 times 7 is 21, 3 times 7 is 21. It's a pile of hay here um, with a rope tied, uh, tied it down uh, and the shape of the rope is in the shape of an 8. So 3 times 8 is the scarecrow. So there's a little bird sitting there in the, in the shape of a 2. And there's a 4 there, 24. So 3 times 8 is 24. Uh, and then finally, the 3 times 9, which is always the end of our story. 3 times 9 is right at the end in the uh, lineups uh, of how the snow is lined up there. Um, and so um, there's a 27 visible in there. So 3 times 9 is 27. Um, it's all about storytelling. Um, so the picture helps them remember uh, how this works. Um, I, I will, as soon as I have the other pictures ready, I will put them up uh, or uh, I will probably put them all into one video at, at, at some stage. But uh, you can see how this thing works. Um, it's not necessarily how the picture is developed, but how the story is told. That helps your um, young learner remember these. And when you come to practice this, by the way, again, as you can see, I have jumbled these about. So, you know, they're not in the right order as, as is normally practiced. The order has been shuffled up. Um, so, you know, three times three and then three times nine, which is right at the end of the, uh, of the story. And three times four, which is there. And then three times eight, which is here. And so it's, can you see, it's, it goes, um, not goes, it doesn't go in the, in, in the order that normally is practiced at school. Uh, I hope you enjoy it, uh, and I hope you use it, and I hope you develop your own pictures, but I will certainly, when I develop um, other pictures, I will also uh, include it in my videos. See you again.